So last night I went live and I don't know how, but some G3 stands found out about it. They came on my live and then start spamming a whole bunch of hate comments, started telling us that they wanted us to kill ourselves um, and just said a whole bunch of awful and mean shit. And I'm not going to lie, that honestly, it gave me fucking nightmares. Like I had nightmares last night because I was so upset. I was so fucking pissed about... Just the, the toxicity, the evilness that just... <laughs> hey, what's up, Messy Girls? Welcome back to Messy Girls TV. If you don't already know, then I'm going to give you a quick and brief recap of the events that happened last night. So last night I had went live and the title of the live was Messy Girls TV is going to apologize to G3 stands. And that is something that I was genuinely going to do because I felt like I said a few things that was out of pocket um, about the Monster High G3 um, dolls, the Skultimate Secret 2 dolls that's getting ready to come out. Maybe I judged them a little bit too quick. And I had said something a bit disrespectful to Shay Fontana, who is the creator of Monster High G3. So Shay Fontana made this post on um, her social media platforms, basically asking for somebody to apply to be a computer graphics supervisor. That's what CG stands for. Basically, somebody to oversee the graphic quality, somebody to oversee like visual effects, just kind of oversee the process of the show and kind of make sure that you know it's good it's gucci it's it's ready to be um it's ready to be released and broadcasted so i'm not gonna lie my thing when i kind of seen this i was like mm, why are you asking your fans to be a cg supervisors like i don't know that seems a bit weird it seems a bit unprofessional like you would think you, you would have close people um in your department or in your circle. I don't know that you could ask to be that. Like, why are you going on Twitter and Instagram and asking your fans to be CG supervisors? I don't know. That's something about that was just a bit weird to me. And so then I made a little reply that caused a lot of controversy on doll Twitter. I'm going to read it to y'all. Ask Shay Fontana. This show is dull, boring, and really needs a lot of work on the plot and animation. Quick tip. Hire someone who has better ideas than you, because your recreation of Monster High is complete garbage. That's the garbage emoji. Not trying to be mean. I just want to be 100 with you. Heart emoji. Okay, but to be honest, when I reread this, this comment actually isn't that bad. Like, when you really think about it, I thought originally I had wrote something a lot more heinous and disrespectful towards her. But rereading this, honestly... I didn't say anything that was that awful. All I really said was, your recreation of Monster High is complete garbage, which it is. The show was really dull and boring, and it needs a lot of work on the plot and the animation. That's true. I was just trying to be 100 with you, which is what I said at the very bottom. Um... I feel like, yes, it could have been worded a little differently, but it's not like I sat there and cussed her out or sent death threats or told her that she needs to off herself or she needs to quit her job because she's completely horrible at it. That's the thing. Like, I didn't even say that she was completely horrible at her job. Nowhere did I say that. I said that her ideas for the Monster High show was garbage. That's what I said. I didn't come for her whole career because mind you, she she got a whole catalog of making kids shows. She worked on like Polly Pocket, DC Superhero Girls, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um and I never sat here and said like, oh you're one of the worst children's show creators or whatever, whatever. No, I didn't say that. I didn't try to comfort her career. I didn't try to comfort her life. All I said was that her ideas for Monster High was dull, boring, and it was complete garbage. Um, I didn't even say, oh, I did say it was complete garbage. Never mind. <laughs> uh, still, it, it is though. Like, and could I have been a bit nicer about my wording? Absolutely. But I feel like you're a grown ass woman. Um, shit like this should not bother you because I, it's not like I sat here and fucking cussed you out. I didn't really cut. I didn't even cuss in this. So I honestly kind of felt like this was kind of a, honestly, a chill response. It was a little bitchy. It was a little catty, but it's not anything that you probably haven't heard before. And if you haven't heard anything like this before, then girl, huh, the privilege is privileging. But, um, again, at first I was a bit apologetic about what I had said, but honestly, I'm, I'm not because I don't think that what I said was all that awful. 
Um, I really think it was just critique that could have been a bit nicer. But, I mean, if the whole world was nice and everything was peaches, creams, and strawberries, then nobody would feel the need to improve their craft. And I think that is something that is very important, especially when you're in any sort of entertainment industry, when you're in the art industry, whatever. Critique is important. Sometimes a few, not negative comments, but a few um, critiquing comments, maybe with a little bit of um, bitchiness or cattiness in it. Um, it just kind of makes you think about what the fuck you're making, what the fuck you're producing, what you're showing to the world. And it makes you think, huh, can I make this a bit better? Can I, um, judge it up a little bit? And honestly, that's, that's what you need to do. You as a creator, that's what you need to do. You need to be able to look at comments like this and be like, okay, you know what? Um, you know, maybe this comment isn't completely out of line. Maybe there is a lot more I can do when it comes to the characters, the development, the lines, like let's let's make better scripts, let's make better visuals, because let's be completely honest, the Monster High, the the school looks ugly. I used to think it was kind of cute, you know, maybe for kids, but no, the school, the background, it's ugly. Um, The characters, the characters are god awful ugly like wow like they're they are ugly every single character is ugly i know i say how lean i like her design which i do but in the face she's still ugly same thing with spectra i like her design but still she's ugly but instead of this pale snow possum i mean white girl i mean um individual instead of her being able to take constructive criticism um with a little bit of zest thrown in there uh, she blocked me and honestly, I'm honored. I'm honored to be blocked by this, um, untyped Google doc. I mean, plantation Barbie. I mean, um, uh, excuse me. I, I am so sorry. Uh, where are my manners? Um, this white girl, honestly getting blocked by like celebs or idols or whatever. Um, I don't really think she's a celebrity, but in the monster high community, I guess she is. Um, getting blocked by like people like that with like a lot of followers and shit like that honestly feels like a privilege because you personally had to interact with my profile, which is something that a lot of your fans don't get the privilege of um, of getting, you know, you personally having to interact with them in that way, you know, and I'm not gonna lie, you probably blocked me because you know I was right, but I don't care. I ain't mad because it's like, I don't really pay attention to your shit anyway. Being dead ass honest, the only reason why I was able to see that post is because I think either somebody who I follow reposted it or you know how like Twitter now has a for you page. I don't know if they had that before. And people who you follow, Twitter, Twitter's for you page, kind of like TikTok basically, where they suggest stuff to you from other accounts that are like the ones you follow so it'll be this doll account that's kind of like with me and hates g3 and then there's this doll account that is a complete and utter g3 stand twitter can't tell the difference so you know they're gonna send that shit my way on my for you and that nine times out of ten is probably how i seen it but um yeah the other reason i was going to apologize is because a youtuber named freddy's dolls and honestly i checked out their youtube channel they make really nice really clean stop motions if you don't know who they are then you should check them out i'm not gonna lie like not even trying to give promo and shouting out a bitch just saying like i, I seen their content like it's it's pretty clean anyways um so they made this comment and it kind of made me rethink about um, what I said about the quality of G3 and made me feel like maybe I judged them a little too soon. So let me just read the comment to y'all. The designers can't say anything about Creep Productions or real drama or even upcoming G3 dolls because they don't have the approval to. The executives control what can be said on those live streams. The designers cannot answer questions about topics like upcoming doll leaks. Which honestly makes a lot of sense. That would explain why they were avoiding questions about real drama, Creep Productions, etc, etc. Um, Skelector dolls like the Skelector, um, what's her name? Rochelle. That was due to come out or, you know, set to premiere or whatever. It makes sense. However, like I was kind of saying before, it is 
obvious that Mattel and the Mattel execs, the Mattel producers or whatever, they clearly do not care about Monster High fans. No, they care about money. They care about the upper class um, doll collectors who have 75 to 100 dollars to buy on exclusive dolls and shit like that the main reason they care more about the more um how do, the upper class consumers or whatever the upper class doll consumers the reason they care more about them and the reason they want their money so fucking bad is because mattel acts like they are broke they act like they barely have any money to spend on good quality which is the reason why barbie looks so shitty nowadays like even the more elaborate barbies like you know the ones that are supposed to be based off of a barbie movie or the ones that are supposed to come with whole ass play sets. They just look extremely cheap and budget friendly. Barely having any clothes. Little to no articulation. And just straight plain hair. But anyways. But again, it's just the fact that Mattel act like they're broke. And they're too scared to spend money. They, I feel like they stopped the Cree Productions. Because they didn't want to keep spending money on them. Which I hate because I feel like you would have seen. If you would have paid more attention to Cree Productions and Real Drama Dolls, you would have seen a bigger profit with them than this stupid, goofy, monster hob knockoff that you call G3. Like, I'm just being completely fucking honest. And part of the reason why I feel like they didn't want them to talk about um, Cree Productions is because they want for they want for Monster High fans to forget that that even existed. Um, you see how they're not really doing anything with like the G1 era anymore. They used to be kind of more excited about it, but and when they started coming out with like G3 stuff, it's like they kind of forgot about it. And I feel like it's because they want you to forget about it. They want you to forget about Monster High G1 and start focusing on Monster High G3 and putting all your money towards that. And I guess it's working for them because a lot of people are saying that they like that shit. But I, I can't get behind it, mainly because of how toxic the fandom is, which I will talk about a bit later in this video. Stay tuned. Um. But I really feel like they would have seen a bigger profit if they would have kept the production of real drama and creep productions going. I think it was kid friendly. I think kids would have loved to see um, G1 looks because they looked fucking fantastic and they were they were colorful to some extent look at how shadow high like shadow high series one and two is doing and i just wish they would have kept that in mind like oh maybe if we continue creep productions and real drama and stuff like that not only will we get a lot of attention from our old nostalgic fans but we'll also be having we'll have something on the shelves to kind of combat our competition you know with shadow high um, but I guess they don't think like that. They think let's keep making cheap kids toys. Kids will love that. The cheaper, the better. You feel me? Um, even with their more expense, even with like the more expensive dolls, it's still like cheaper, cheap ass quality. And I say that because look at what's going on with, um, Skultimus Secrets and the polypurpurine hair. But speaking of this, let me go ahead and read the second comment from Freddy's Dolls. Also, the dolls are still being released with polypurpurine because they have been in production since before G3 was in stores and before Mattel got feedback from their fans to change the polypurpurine hair. Mattel isn't purposely ignoring their fans. There just hasn't been enough time since the release for feedback to be incorporated. Okay, so this comment makes sense. I completely understand what they're saying and where they're going with this. But at the same time, Mattel has been Mattel since, what, for how long? Since 1989? Been making successful kids toys since how long? 1989? So what, what I am truly wondering is how do you not know that polypurpurine is literally the most hated hair texture in the doll community? Like, it's airy, it's nappy, it's hard to tame. Um, and it looks bad. Like it, it just looks bad. Um, and haven't y'all been producing My Little Pony? Don't y'all know that that shit disintegrate over time? Like you literally setting bitches up. Um, I don't, I, I don't know what they were really thinking, but 
And I get you're trying to defend Monster High or whatever, but the fact that it's produced by Mattel, Mattel should already have this knowledge. Oh yeah, our fans, they won't like the polypropylene hair. Let's use something more cost effective. Let's let's use something that would look a lot better on these dolls anyway. Let's continue to use Saran. Let's continue to use something like nylon, more favorable hair textures and qualities. Um, instead, you go with the most hated. And I'm not saying that that makes y'all cheap, but it does make it obvious that, again, y'all do not care about what y'all fans really want. Y'all care about making money. Y'all care about making a profit off of them. Um, and my main thing with, like, Monster High is I feel like they're really trying to make the profit from children or from parents who want to buy these dolls for their kids. Just being completely honest. Um, they don't care that much about the lower class Monster High fans that can't afford Scalector um, and just have to put up with the bare minimum as quality that we're getting from G3 and just deal with it. And that's why I'm saying I don't support Mattel. I don't even I don't want to stick up for them and say like, oh, yeah, I completely agree with this comment because I don't. They know that polypropylene sucks, but they did that shit anyway. So no, they don't need feedback from Monster High fans to know that polypropylene sucks. Like, let's be fucking for real. So that whole, oh, well, they haven't had time with the feedback thing. Nah, even if that was true, still, nah, they know. They know that we wasn't going to like that shit. So no, they, they know. They're not dumb. They're just cheap. So Mateo... Monster High, whatever, no excuses. They get no fucking excuses because, again, they fucking knew. But now it's time to talk about the the thing that I really wanted to address in this video, which is just the toxicity, not even that, the evilness that roots within the G3 community. The fucking, the heinousness, the, the abomination that the G3 community truly is. So last night, like I said, I decided to go live and it started off with me beginning to apologize to them but then some of my messy girls kind of like told me like girl you ain't gotta apologize to them you ain't gotta kiss nobody ass what you said is what you said and what you said was true um and at the end of the day Mattel knew that they was using shitty quality hair so nothing nothing you said was wrong you have nothing to apologize for and I was like yeah you know what you're right messy girls I, I don't have anything to apologize for what what am I doing so the live after that just became a very fun time um, my cousin decided to come and join because um, I wanted her to join and some of the Mexican girls wanted her to join. And we was just having a little kiki. We was having a good ass time. We were having a ball. But then the G3 Nation attacked. So out of nowhere, somebody had popped into the live and they made a rude comment towards my cousin. Um, I'm not even going to repeat what it was because it was a stupid comment. It was really dumb. But it really rubbed me the wrong way, mainly because my cousin had nothing to do with this. She had nothing to do with the whole G3 conversation as a whole. So the fact that like, why are you bringing her into this? Why are you, why do you feel so comfortable with trying to tear someone down and come for their insecurities or trying to belittle them on fucking social media? You truly got to be some of the most pathetic people to ever exist in humanity. Like, it's it's disgusting. And the fact that, like, I feel like some of y'all probably, some of them probably targeted her thinking that she was the face behind Messy Girls TV. But literally, like, she's not, though. Like, congratulations, dumbass. You targeted the wrong fucking person. Um, But, yeah, like, she had nothing to do with this. It was so unnecessary. I really hated that. They said those things to her. Um, and they made her feel bad because I was really excited to have her on the live because I know y'all enjoy her. I enjoyed having her in what was once a very fun and lively live, literally. Um, it just ruined the mood, you know, and I, I spent about 10 minutes trying to cheer up. Um, but it was, it was hard for me to kind of go on after that because I just kept thinking about it. Um, and then that was just the one comment later on a bunch of people, not a bunch of people, but a few people joined and started commenting a whole bunch of, um, started spewing a whole bunch of hate comments towards me, towards us. Really? Um, somebody was talking about my glasses. 
I think it's funny that that's that's the only thing you can really say about me is, the, oh, he, he's wearing glasses. Look at your big nose. <laughs> but you can't call me ugly, bitch, because that is one thing that I am not. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> but still, like, it's insane to me how y'all preach y'all love G3 so much because of its message of representation and inclusion and everyone is welcome, yada, yada, yada. Yet y'all are so comfortable with cyberbullying. Like, it's crazy. Y'all love to cyberbully people who don't agree with y'all. Y'all love to cyberbully people who make just a slight opinion about how they don't like G3 or anything that y'all like or a part of y'all cultural community or whatever. Um... It's it's really annoying because somebody could just make like a slight little comment, a slight little, not even a dig, just a suggestion. And then you go in on them. But I will say my favorite part of the whole situation is that somebody literally made a whole YouTube page called Messy Girls TV Hater. Somebody literally made a whole fucking YouTube page dedicated to hating me. And I am not going to lie. I was actually really excited to see that somebody <laughs> took the fucking time to do this. Like, I'm sorry, but girl, if you got a whole fucking YouTube page, somebody literally with your fucking username is saying that they're like your biggest hater or whatever. It's just that's how you know you made it, okay? That's how you know you fucking pop in. So, I don't know. Thank you for that. Honestly, it boosted my self-esteem, <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest. Like, wow, I really have my own hate channel. Like, it's a lot of dog, um, it's a lot of dog tubers who don't even have that. Like, so, I don't know. But in all fucking seriousness, I'm... I don't care all that much to clap back at all of these fucking haters because one, I know the main reason you don't like me is because of my opinions about G3 and about non-binary people as a whole. Like, let's just be fucking for real. That whole thing to me is just dumb. Like, you having a whole ass vendetta against me because of a stupid fucking opinion. Like, <laughs> get a life for real. Get some dick. Get outside. Touch some grass. Touch some wee-wee, okay? Touch some money. Touch some fucking money, bitch. Like, <laughs> for real. You bitches are sick and you're broke as fuck. That's why you're so bitter living in fucking Section 8 housing. Like, come on now. But anyways, like, I'm, I'm simply too blessed to be stressed by this. You feel me? Like... If it was just me in the live and they were just talking about me, I really wouldn't have given a fuck. I probably would have blocked some of them. Probably would have just let some of them comment. Because, again, I, I don't care. Like, this, all this hate is unnecessary because it's just over a fucking opinion about a damn doll or about a show that's horrible. You feel me? Like, so... Like I said, all of this hate is unnecessary and I really wasn't going to feed into it. But I was just so pissed that they really came for my cousin like that. Like, I don't, I think I'm the type of person to wear. You, you can throw shots at me. You can say whatever the fuck you want about me. I ain't going to care. But you talk about my blood. <laughs> you talk about not even just blood, but people that's close to me. Like somebody that I'm really emotionally invested in, like a like a friend, like a real close friend and shit like that. I'm not gonna lie, I I I turn into a completely different person. I become like super defensive. So I was really pissed over the fact that y'all really just thought it was cool to come for my fucking cousin like that and say all of that rude shit. But um And again, I just wanted to show y'all how evil and toxic and bitter these bitches are it is so sad it is so sad to hear um and my advice to you truly is to like being for real go get a life dolls aren't everything this whole doll community stuff this is like a hobby right this shit ain't supposed to be something that you eat sleep and breathe because it's it's materialistic it's a material thing like that's that ain't what you want to do, because when you do that, you end up becoming like how y'all are. Y'all end up becoming bitter and weird and angry over people who have opinions that differs from your beliefs when it comes to a doll or any material thing that you're passionate about. So I don't recommend it. I don't suggest it. And I really feel bad for you bitches that really, <laughs> really take this shit so much to heart, like. 
for real, y'all. Get a life. Get a get a career to focus on. Get a man to focus on. Okay. Stop putting all your focus into dolls. That's uh, nah. I just nah. Um, it's nothing wrong with liking them. It's nothing wrong with having a passionate hobby. But there is something wrong with being completely obsessed to the point where you fixate so much on trying to cyber bully someone just because they have a different opinion about a doll than you. But with that, I am getting ready to head out. I have a lot more work to do. I have some editing to catch up on. I have some filming to catch up on. I have some writing to catch up on. I have shit to do. So I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much, Misty Girls. And if you want to know when I am going to go live next, I'm going to give you a small tip. Usually it'll be during like the nighttime, like after like 1130 or 12. Um, And my lives do be a little late a little late they be like this they be late as fuck they literally it's literally like midnight and later um but if you're up around that time and you want to join the lab you want to join the messy girls have a little fun um make sure you turn on my post notifications so you know when i go live um because i don't do it every night but i try and do it most nights throughout the week just so we get a chance to interact with each other and talk about some doll related content and some things about life and so i can vent y'all about work in real time like i said i love you messy girls don't forget to love yourselves don't forget to I don't fucking know. Just don't don't be a fucking cyber bully and don't troll somebody for having a different fucking opinion, especially if it's about something materialistic. Politics, that's different. Still, don't cyber bully somebody. That shit is weird. But let's just remember that we're adults. Let's continue to be adults and let's continue to be great and make fucking money. I love y'all. Bye bye.